basically what we call a floor manifold. You'll have these all over the, the complex. Each floor is individually controlled so that in the event of a fire on three, I don't have to drain down the entire building. I just go to that floor and drain that Same, Same setup as upstairs, except this is all the way to the So in the event of something happening, of course, the first thing you do is call somebody that knows. Um, same, same type of scenario. Here's your tamper switch to kill your water supply. And then this is what we call an inspector's test. It serves multiple purposes. It's for your annual inspections. When they come out, they check your alarms, make sure everything's still operating properly, as well as draining your system. The only way it drains is if this is closed. When they come out to do their test and they leave this open, pull this handle wide, make sure the alarms operate, they take readings off the gauges, as far as your inspection stuff. These, these are really simple. I mean, there's not much to explain with them. Like I said, head activates, water flows, recognize your problem, call somebody, fire pump blows up, cut this valve off, open that crane. And that'll stop the water flow. And then vice versa when you're throwing up, we'll close that. We'll open that up slowly. We'll do that. But always call somebody. Never do that on your own. Several people try it because they had this detailed opponent training videos and they go step by step on it. It looks really easy. But you never want that liability on your head. Ever. Even if you know, okay, well somebody broke a head right there. I'll just go shut it down and take care of it. You never want to do that. Then you're assuming liability for something that may or may not have happened somewhere else in the building. Uh, any questions?